Hi Aries, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading and this will be for uh, September 13th to the 19th for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, we'll be using a Celtic cross spread, just general messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. If you are interested in the extended, please see uh, the link in the description box below. It's going to be titled um, for the week, extended weekly uh, 13th to the 19th. What does Aries need to know, please? Kilty cross bread for Aries. Wow, I'm getting a wish fulfillment here. One more, please. Chariot, Cancer Energy Movement. Mm. A soulmate, memories, someone maybe, you know, a visitor from the past as well. We will see. There's a certain nostalgia there, or even a friendship. Again, we're looking at it general. We have the Justice card, Libra. This being your overall situation here, some of you, again, we will see the whole reading. Trying to balance a, cer a certain situation, karmic ties, trying to be fair. It may be that some of you are just waiting for some type of um, legal matters. What's crossing this? The Page of Wands. I feel like you guys are going to get some good news here. The, the interesting thing about this balance between the mind here and looking at things diplomatically, remember Libra is your um, reflection, your seventh house. This page of wands, though, is, is coming as someone that is, um, looks like just has learned here to kind of go with the flow. It's coming as someone here that has a certain knowledge and wants to practice this knowledge. So some, if you're waiting for some type of good news legally, this is very nice. But I'm, I'm just getting what's crossing you is between being diplomatic, waiting for this balance or the right news or the right moment of the news and this impulsive energy just to jump right away into it. Like I just... I don't want to wait. I just don't want to be diplomatic. I don't want to be nice. Not that you don't, but this is coming as the obstacle that is too impetuous or uh, that is too kind of, you know, it's like the child that just wants, you know, that you're a child. Again, I hope I'm not being misunderstood here, but it's just, I just want to go and explore this and I want to send this message or I just want to go right away on these adventures without, you know, looking at both situations. And this is coming because I feel like someone here has been considering an offer. It has to do about an emotion here, cancer energy again. It's like someone that is lingering in this, being diplomatic, waiting for this good news and wanting right away. I mean, you can see here that this page of wands is holding on to something that just started here giving life. Okay, so we have the offer here that still lingers in the past. It looks like in the past someone was all out there offering love or waiting for this new love, for this new opportunity. There was the, the heart was open, vulnerable. It was this new beginning. So it was a start. It is an ace after all. Again, you have been lingering on this emotion, you or whoever you're connecting, and you're feeling like things have to be balanced. But there was here love offered, even if it was just the start. You have the King of Swords in your um, thinking or presently going on here. So that means, again, now we went from feelings, wanting to look, and that's again, between the heart and the mind, between looking at it objectively and just wanting to go with the flow here. So the King of Swords being the practical approach that you have. It may be that some of you are attracted to an air sign, but right now we don't know that for sure. It's just this practical approach. You want this, there was an off, uh, offer of love here, or there was love, but now you feel like, no, I'm, uh, I have to think of it objectively, or this person may have closed their heart. Okay, so the Three of Cups is coming towards you. That means good news. There's going to be reconciliation. Look at this here. You are stuck in the Four of Cups, but the Three of Cups is coming here. And again, I, I feel like there's something here that you have known from the past or a memory or nostal nostalgia, friendship. It does not have to be a love connection, but I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved here. So I do feel it goes towards that. But the Three of Cups tells me celebration. This is the immediate feeling that is coming in. 
of celebration. And you look very hopeful, Aquarius energy. Some of you may have strong Aquarius here. You look optimistic. You have been dreaming, you have been wanting, you have been lingering. Even if you feel like currently things, you know, may be very much uh, looked at it in a, in a way objectively. That's what your attitude is. What the universe wants you to know, what surrounds you, what are the influences here externally to you? It can be a person, it can be just, you know, external forces. Is that there's a lot of fantasy going on, a lot of water, right? We're getting here Scorpio energy. I have cancer, strong cancer energy as well. But the Seven of Cups is someone here that has all these dreams or has all these emotions, but is just kind of, you know, swimming in this emotions, dreaming about it, nothing is clear with the Seven of Cups. It's just dreaming of all of those possibilities that we can be together or we could have together. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? We have so much when it comes here. First of all, again, another Cancer energy. Look at the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups. We have Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. You're hoping for this connection. It's coming. It's coming, Aries. There's wow. Look, you may seem, uh, you know, the King of Swords cool and collective, but the outcome will be that someone is not as cool as collected. It's just rationing. I'm getting quick communication coming in, uh, information. Someone charging in. The best possible outcome. Remember, I said that there's this because we have to look at the whole here. This reading together, not just specifically. You're dealing with the uh, the justice overall. Why the situation here? So, the Knight of Swords gets that information and goes towards it. Again, it's mostly regarding communication or it's a decision. Yes, I want to explore this. I want to entertain it. I want to go for it. But the actual outcome is because there's some news here immediately, or there's this desire of I want us to be together, and you change your attitude here to feeling hopeful. It may be all these emotions that are surrounding and all these dreams and possibilities and you feel like, okay, but maybe, hopefully here, this is the moment that we are together. This is the moment where, you know, whatever these cups here that one is lingering, the other was offered finally. You know, me and this person see eye to eye or we emotionally are bonding. You're hoping for your soulmate. You're hoping here for the person that is important uh, to you. And the Knight of Swords sa is saying yes. It's actually coming. It's charging in. So there's, to me, strongly here, if you are waiting for some type of communication, that Knight of Swords saying that that's the best possible outcome. If you're questioning going between back and forth, you are in this situation that there was love and someone was lingering and when is this going to come? Is this the right moment? It's saying that's the right moment. You're thinking ana analytically here. You're thinking in a, in a way, and again, we're looking for next week, so the energies are mostly for next week. You're thinking, how do I use this information objectively here? The Knight of Swords is... a uh, a step, you know, down here from the King of Swords. The King of Swords is more in control. We have someone that says, you know something? I'm acting quickly. I'm going for it. I'm not going to stand in, in this situation. I want to clarify that Knight of Swords here. Because I feel like overall, with the Four of Cups, you already have been considering. This is something that you have been sitting on for some time. Is strongly uh, this offer here that you're hoping for, that you have known that you've been sitting for some time and contemplating. And it's very active. You went from this inactive type of situation to now everything moving forward. That's again, I keep feeling that some of you are going to hear from someone from the past, or if uh, things have been kind of, you know, how do I say, peaceful, not active, no action, nothing moving forward. Now that they, they are, they're moving forward. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. Sorry, guys, um, I got a phone call and uh, it interrupted um, the reading. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see what the Knight of Swords is. Let's see, what is the Knight of Swords? What is going on with this Knight of Swords? One more. Hmm, the page of cups. Okay, so we're talking about someone expressing feelings 
we continuing this with with this cup here guys this is all about romantic feelings all right let's get two more here one more the knight of wands okay you guys are gonna get communication or you are going to communicate with someone you're going to charge uh, uh towards someone is this kind of i'm sure that this is what i want to do i'm sure that this is what i want to accomplish what is the king of swords please tell me about this king of swords but i'm getting action towards love someone that is ready to express feelings there's a little bit here between these two i have to tell you there's um a little bit of conflict in in how someone is going to express their feelings because i'm getting someone here that there's there's nothing romantic with the knight of swords it's just someone that says hey this is what i need to say and this is what i need to do but it behind it we have someone that actually is coming as very soft very vulnerable so i don't know if someone is trying here to kind of and i'm saying this only because you have the king of swords in your thinking there's this energy and because of the justice here that goes back and forth and says okay what do i need to do here because you know i look at things in a very objective way or diplomatic so that's why i feel like there's an energy as the outcome that how some is going how someone is going to express this feeling is a little bit here hard with what they mean i don't know if it is because of an apology because right back to it is the knight of wands that comes again mostly as someone that is very passionate and just kind of saves the day here hey i'm I, this is how i said it but this is what i mean this is what i want this is the the feelings that i have because aries you have feelings for this person yes it's you because this is in your hopes and fears and this is the star is in your attitude so this is someone that it means a lot to you i don't know if this is you that you want to charge towards this person or are ready to go towards this person but um it's saying that uh there may be this again this remember the obstacle that certain things like to me i'm getting i wanted i wanted to flirt with you but it came out badly <laughs> that's how i say it or it came harshly or it came Im immediate without you know kind of holding back and really meaning something more softer if it is not you it's your person i feel like the message here is not as um as is intended that's the only th uh, thing i will say that i'm getting from that um outcome and that's why you have this be diplomatic look at both situation and what you actually mean you or whoever you're connecting with okay why do you have the king of swords one more Okay, so the King of Swords here is coming with this idea that I'm going to see how things are going to turn. I'm going to stay here objectively and see how things are going to change. Believing also that things have to change and not stay in this situation. Give me one more here, please. One more. The Three of Pentacles. That is a certain sense of collaboration that it is coming here that you have in your mind and feeling out how to change this very slow progress the three of pentacles again is coming as this partnership what do we need to do what is the change how can i look at this in a way as i mentioned here that um my feelings are not involved or i'm not being too emotional and the outcome outcome will be that yes someone will take charge here and will say what they mean it's not going to be again how you have it in your mind it's going to be more um quick more fast and um not necessarily as mature but i feel like this is what keeps that movement this is the night that finally says I'm, I'm going to take action no matter what so i feel like to me overall you are going to get some type of communication or someone is expressing feelings here and is coming forward uh, from back and forth back and forth deciding now it's the time i really hope this resonates with you guys as usual and in the extended for those that need to know we will go a little bit deeper and also we will see where the connection is for you guys or your love life for this uh week thank you bye, -bye.